All right. So what's going on, everybody? And welcome to the Go Follow Up podcast. This is a special edition. I am here with my man, Andrew Reiner from Andrew Reiner Photography. What's going on, bro? How you feeling? What's up, man? Feeling Feel, good. Feeling good? Yeah, man. Feels good to feel good. You're damn right. Damn right it does. So listen, this is this is a special edition, man. You know, down yeah. here in Austin, Texas, you know, checking you out. I've known you for a couple of years now. I'm a very talented photographer. Thank um, you. <clears throat> so listen, I can ramble on and sing your praises all day. All right. You know, but before I do, why don't you tell us a little bit about, you know, give us a little background on on you um, and uh, where you're at, you know, currently. Okay. And uh, we'll just take it from there, you know. All right. Well, I, I studied photography in college. That's where I met yourself. That's right. Um, yeah. Over at old Richard Stockton. Richard Stockton in New Jersey. Mm-hmm. And uh, after I finished up that, I started doing, started getting involved in the, the wedding industry. Mm. So that's just, you know, typical photographer thing. Yeah, that's like the natural photographer yeah. flow. That's what everybody tells you to do. Yeah. Do photography <laughs> to take pictures at weddings. Right, so yeah. So that's what I did. Mm-hmm. Started doing weddings, a little mm-hmm. event photography. Mm-hmm. Probably did that for like, maybe like two or three years. And then kind of realized it's not not what I wanted to do mm-hmm. and moved out to Austin when I moved to Austin I really was into photojournalism mm-hmm. it's like took a photojournalism workshop up in Dallas and learned a lot a lot of shit about photojournalism and didn't didn't really like apply it you know to right. my own stuff but I did learn a lot and I kind of learned that I probably wasn't going to be a photojournalist. <laughs> okay. Like, yeah. all right, all right. You learned something that you weren't going to do. Yeah, that exactly. Like, right. I love photojournalism, but it's like I learned that that's not what I was going to do. Uh, and then I got caught up in regular job life, you know? Didn't yeah, really. Yeah. The, the photo stuff took, you know, sat in the back seat for a while. Yeah. And uh, and then all of a sudden I got a little, a little gig with a stock photo agency mm-hmm. where they liked my stuff. And um, I kind of. Once that happened, I was just like started thinking about it again and how I could actually maybe I could do this, and uh, quit my job mm. and I started collecting a bunch of images, um, traveling around doing. So the stock agency does a lot of travel photography, so mm. I traveled around for a while and started collecting all sorts of landscapes and stuff. And then uh, I did that for like three or four months. Came back to Austin. This is in like December, like. Seven, eight months ago, and then when that happened, I started working with a food photographer and saw the whole side of like commercial photography and what a like uh, kind of like a money maker that could be. You know? Right. Yeah. And then I just started focusing all my time and energy on getting commercial jobs and like freelancing, and didn't have any other things really happening for me. So I was just like concentrating, concentrating, concentrating. Yeah. And now it's like eight months later and I'm not, you know, I'm not where I want to be yet, but right. I still feel like it's, it's still pretty new and it's half stuff is happening. So like, I'm, I'm happy with where I am, but I, you know, I have a lot of, a lot of room to grow, a All lot right. of new things to learn. Yeah. So yeah, that's man, kind of where I'm at right now. I ain't mad at that, dude. You know what? It's kind of, uh, uh, before I even get into more, I guess, uh, where were some of the places that you were traveling? When I, when, you when were, I got the stock agency thing? Yeah. I, so I, I did the stock agency thing, and I, I sent in all my old stuff initially, like to them to see if they wanted it. And they picked up some of my images, and then I, I planned a big stock shoot specifically for the, the company um, with like some of my roommates and some of my friends. It was like backyard barbecue thing where I like produced it and whatnot, and mm-hmm. got some like real lifestyle images that I thought were gonna be sellable. And they have been, I guess. They started selling recently. Um, and then I knew that like I love to travel, so mm. I was like, "Fuck it, I'm, I'm mm. gonna quit my job." Mm. Bought a van, right? And like took my camera uh, and just like lived in a van for like <laughs> I, don't, I was probably like three or four months, and I was just I had like a tentative you know schedule of shit that I wanted to do and places I wanted to hit. Right. I knew for sure I wanted to go to Yellowstone, and, um, and then also like a lot of Utah. So I just kind of. Went up through Colorado. I had some friends up there that I stayed with. Photographed like all the mountains out there. Went to 
the Badlands, which is a national park in South Dakota. And I spent like, it was fun. It was like I would wake up at mm. sunrise every morning because I knew that was when like the light was the best and right. I would be like on it. I'd wake up, I'd go out, photograph for like a couple hours, landscapes or like, Sometimes wildlife is not really like my thing, but right. I like to, you know, attempt mm -hmm. to do it. Um, and just like having tons of fun. Like, oh, yeah, so I was at the Badlands, Yellowstone, all through Utah. There's like five national parks in southern Utah I went yeah. to. I went out to California and San Diego and then like back through West Texas and, and then back into Austin after that. And then when I got back to Austin, I just was like, I didn't have a job. I was just like <laughs> editing photos uh -huh. and sending them in the cabin, mm. sleeping on my friend's couch. Mm. And like, I started working at this vegan bakery for like $10 an hour just right. to like have some, some money and uh -huh. like didn't know what the hell I was doing. Right. Like I was very, <laughs> my friends started calling me a lost boy like all the time, you know? Like, <laughs> and it was, I mean, like, I knew what I was doing though. I didn't like them when she called me that. You know? right. I was like, yeah, I'm not lost, y'all. I'm figuring it out. Like, I right. Was, because you got like a real secure job and I'm like on the other end of the spectrum. Right. I don't feel lost, but that's right. how you feel about me, that's fine. <laughs> I hear you on that, man. You know, um, it's kind of it's kind of interesting because um, it's like a struggle for uh, like creatives, yeah. I guess. Like, you know, it's like it's, it's like I guess figuring out the game as a creative is like like a mystery sometimes. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's like making money off of your art. You know, and like, like, but, but being profitable on it, you know what I mean? It's true. And everybody has advice for you, dude. Yeah. And like, it's, you gotta like pick and choose and see what works and what doesn't. And it's like, it's yeah. a long process is what I'm realizing. It's not just like, you're gonna, unless you're like extremely talented or like right. from the get go, like knew somebody or right. like, it's not just gonna happen for you. Right. And like a couple of months ago, I met up with this photographer that's like super talented and I wanted to possibly just like assist with him and get to know him, you know? Right. And uh, he does commercial landscape photography and he's mm. like awesome. He has all these awesome projects and I was like, I would love to work along this side, side this guy or even just like get to talk to him. So I like reached out to him, sent him an email through his website and talked about just like meeting up and talking. And I was hoping that he was gonna have some like real solid advice. Like this is your plan of action to get your shit going. Right, but right. But that's not, he was like, dude like honestly just just like stick with it like don't like it's not it's just you got to keep going like right. you're gonna feel like this isn't working and this is like maybe this isn't my thing anymore or like mm -hmm. i'm not gonna make it but like just just basically be patient and keep going and right. like eventually it's, you're gonna learn it all, all along the way and it'll start it'll start working out for you which i didn't like that like i didn't like to hear that right but like that, that right. was his advice i wanted him to be like oh you need to work on your like search engine optimization you need to like reach out to this and do this and list yourself on this mm. something that i could like do immediately like practical steps yeah. to take away like today yeah right? but it was <laughs> not that at all it was very like just Vague, be patient yeah. man and like keep doing your thing and like shoot stuff that you want to shoot and you know but i think that's just the way it is i guess yeah you know? man so. you know it's so unlike most people all right um there's kind of like there's like these two dynamics going on right because like unlike most people like you took that chance you know and you like walked away you quit your job and you went on to pursue you know you went on to pursue something that you know you truly love right and it's kind of tricky because like, you know, you could get caught up in it either way, like whether you're caught up in working a job or you can get caught up in doing something that you don't want to do. Um, so like you were saying briefly, like about the wedding photography, yeah. like, you know, because I, I, I used to shoot photography and I didn't want to do weddings. But like sometimes people get caught up in that because like that's where the money is. And now it's like you're kind of like your creative outlet has become a job. Yeah. You know, like what's the biggest felt. challenge you feel like trying to, I guess, like stay true to your art form, but also like make money from it? It's, that's a hard question. Right. It really is. Because uh -huh. like, I guess it's different for everyone. Because mm -hmm. like when I was doing weddings and events, mm -hmm. I was like, I'm a sellout. Like, I was just like, right. I, I took the easy route. Like, uh -huh. everybody's like, everybody's like, just do weddings, do weddings, do weddings. And like, uh -huh. it is an easy way to make money. And right. it wasn't like, 
And at first I did, I liked it. I was like, oh, I'm making money with my camera. And it's like a decent, more money than I've made before. Like I'm 19 years old, like this is cool. Mm -hmm. And then like, I don't know, a little bit later, I was just like, I have this, I have, like every wedding is the same shit and I'm just over and over like I know the shots that I'm gonna get and I'm gonna do the same thing with the same, every couple and it got so boring and I like I just hated it and right. I was just like I don't know dude and then I, I just didn't want to do it anymore and right now even like I'm doing jobs that I want to do right and, like they're and I think they're gonna like lead me into things that I really really want to do right but I don't know. Like I'm, I don't feel like I'm selling out. But I am. I, I'm, I'm making myself more marketable towards like commercial photography. And if I was just taking photos specifically for myself, mm -hmm. I don't know if I would be like, oh, I really love taking photos of coffee being poured and beautifully. You know, like right. I do. Like I like that, and that's cool, and it makes me money. I love doing that to, mm -hmm. as a job. But like, if I if I wasn't concerned about making money, I don't know if I would care about taking pictures of coffee being poured in the cups. Yeah. So it's like. It's, I don't know. it's like a right? balance of yeah, balance. figuring out what what makes you feel like you're <laughs> selling out, I guess. Right, like, that, the sellout syndrome. And I think as I got older, it didn't matter to me as much. Like before, right. it used to be a lot. Like what I want to do is this. What I, this is it. And now it's like I want to pay my bills <laughs> and I want to like, make money off of it. And like right. there will be things that I'll turn down, mm -hmm. but for the most part, like. Especially where I am right now, I'm not like, I'll, I'll take jobs that I don't care about, you know? Right. Like, I don't know if I'll do a, a wedding again, but like, I don't know. It is. It's like a difficult question. It's like, a hard balance. It is. You know? So, you're starting to move into that space now where you're starting to get like, you know, more jobs doing what it is that you want to do. So, what's something right now, you know, as far as your photography is concerned? Um, that's got you really excited? Um, it's weird because the thing that there's a th job that I'm excited about in, in November mm -hmm. where I'm going out to Baja, Mexico, and I'm shooting, uh, it's like an off road, thousand mile off road race. Okay. I'm doing. And that's like that not sounds pretty dope. the shit that I do. You did it before though. I, I did it, yeah. Uh -huh. I just did it for the first time, mm -hmm. like, last month in, in Las Vegas. Right. I'd never done it before. I just had like a random connection that hooked me up with the job and like they took care of me. They like flew me out there, put me up and like it was a decent paying job and and then they reached out to me again like, yeah, do you want to come back in Mexico and do this? And I love Mexico. And like I'm so excited because mm -hmm. I'm going to be able to, I'm, I'm probably going to stay longer than, than the time that I need to be there just to be able to like get some other stuff from my portfolio and like I don't know. I just really love Mexico, Mexican culture, and like photographing there is really beautiful. Right. So that's a job that I am excited about. Maybe not because so it's much like a little that, business and pleasure. Because yeah. you can go there and do the job, but you can also still do the type of work that you would want to do just for self. Yeah, exactly. Like, right. I can come back with some cool portraits of like locals and you know yeah. stuff like that. So I am like I I I, I don't want to become an off road photographer. I right. don't. And it's like, but it's a cool job. And I'm right. down, like, I am excited about it's it. It's still yeah. a cool experience. Yeah, it's real cool. So. Yeah, yeah, right. But that's not, like, you You just weren't like, hey, man, you know, I want to, like, do that specifically. Like, I want to do, like, you know, some people are like, I want to do sports photography. Yeah, like, this is it. This is what I want to do. Yeah. But it's still a cool experience, and it provides extra opportunities for your yeah, other creative along the way. Yeah. yeah. So, is there a... Um, so we kind of, you know, we, we, we went over like some of the challenges of being like an artist and like making money because it's really not that easy. But um, is there a um, person in your life, whether it be uh, like, you know, business wise or just in general, that you feel played a huge influence on where you are today? Uh, uh, like the first person that comes to my mind is my dad, honestly. Right. Like okay. He, he was a, I was telling you, we were talking about this earlier. Mm -hmm. Like he's a, a business owner. He had his own construction company or like, yeah, like remodeling stuff or whatever, mm -hmm. roofing, all sorts of construction jobs. And he has his own, own company and he was, he could do what he wanted, you know? Right. And like I see that now and I'm like. That's that's what I want to be able to do. Like, right. I don't, if I want to get off, like my dad could just 
be like, I'm not gonna go work today. I'm like, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I'm gonna like hang out with my wife and go do something cool, or like mm. I'm gonna go to my kids' baseball games, or like we would always go on these awesome vacations, and like mm. he didn't ever have to ask somebody like, yo, can I can I get off? Can I do this? Like he was his own boss, and right. I think that's probably like a huge influence, honestly. Like where I want to be, like I don't, I can't have somebody be on top of me, Tommy. I know that I'm gonna yeah. eventually have like clients that are in charge of what I'm like. The right, you're serving decisions. them. Yeah, they're serving their purpose. But like but I, yeah, it was just like seeing him without a boss and do and like being able to take time off and do what he wanted to do and like. Some days he would be at the house till like noon before he went, you know, like right. just chilling in his underwear, looking at like <laughs> stocks or something. Like, right. You know, like, <laughs> it's so, those simple things. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like it seems simple, but it's like a huge deal. Dude, yeah. Because like, like stuff a lot that of other people, people don't have the you know ability to just right. decide they want to go into work at one today. Like, right. Yeah. Like so, a lot of people don't have that, man. Not yeah, at all. It's sad, dude, but it's life. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be able to do that. I ain't mad at you. Yeah. We all trying to be able to do that. I know. I, I know. Damn sure I am. You know what <laughs> I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so what about a book? Have you, is there a book that you have that, you know, kind of just changed the, changed the uh, game for you, like mentally, like you read it and you were <sighs> like, you know, oh shit, like kind of just know. like made you think differently about something. I don't know. Man. I'm mm -hmm. trying to think about it. Like I've, a lot of the books that I read are like fiction, you know, like mm -hmm. or something. But like, I, I don't know. Like I try, I've tried to read some self help books or like something to like help me out. But like mm -hmm. I don't know if I have something that I would be like, yo, you gotta read this book. It changed changed my life. Mm -hmm. I'm trying. I don't know. I think about that. Maybe we come back to that. We I'll, come back I'll to let that question. Simmer and see if uh, something see if something pops up in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I got a question for you then. So your business is Andrew Reiner Photography, mm -hmm. right? So if Andrew Reiner Photography was a movie character, okay, who would that movie character be? Like a real, like a real movie character, <laughs> yeah, like, like a movie character. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> like a like a character from a movie that's already made. Yeah, or like I mean, if or like it's, I mean or you you listen you got the freedom to do what you want you know it's like a character from a movie that's already made or like a, a, a character that would be in a movie that was Andrew Reiner I feel like if Andrew Reiner photography was a character in a movie mm -hmm. he'd probably be like some maybe like like Nemo or something. Like okay. he's like, <laughs> you know? Right, right. Like he's, I don't know. Like he's like <laughs> figuring it out still, but he, at the end of the day, it's going to like be like heroic and they're going to like break through and get right. away or something. You know what? Right. I don't know. I like, <laughs> maybe that's a bad example, but like, it's just like some, somebody's like, they're going to do it. But mm -hmm. like right now it's like kind of, like you he's know. finding his way. Yeah, finding his way. Going you know? through all these like different adventures. Exactly. All these like different stuff, adventures. Which figuring it out, out a little out, bit. Yeah. Meet something or meet someone and mm -hmm. it like takes you to the next step. Exactly. Dude, that's pretty cool. Maybe Nemo's father. Like looking for Nemo. Okay. And, and Nemo's like the end the end goal. I don't even want to say the end goal because I don't know what the end goal is. But like right. the feeling of like successful or something like that like right. i'm just like looking trying you know i got my little teammates with me and like mm -hmm. we're trying you know and eventually <laughs> i'm gonna get to the goal but i'm gonna go through uh, going through a lot of weird things and figuring it out to, right until i get there i like that actually nemo's dad i actually Definitely. like that too yeah, yeah. <laughs> i like the way you like put it together it's like oh yeah you're going through everything and like figuring it out it's and it's, and it's like true because that's kind of how um i don't know if, i guess you could call it your career or um your journey kind of goes right it's like this happened like this really great thing happened and the next thing you know it's like oh shit like this thing happens and it's like fuck like how i want to figure this out and it's then, a fucking adventure dude you know you meet like some slick talking octopus exactly <laughs> like, tell bro, like let's go exactly. over here i got this little trick we can do you know <laughs> so yeah man it's, uh, that's pretty cool dude that's uh <laughs> I like the way you put that, man. All right. Now, I was down here for 
we did um, <clears throat> the creatives meet business. Yeah. Um, and uh, it was a good. It was a good experience. What you What you think about that seminar? It was a three day workshop. Yeah. Seminar. It was for creatives. Yeah. Creatives. Trying to get their um, business shit together. Yeah, like the business side of being a creative. It's yeah. Like the whole idea of that workshop. Yeah. You I know, loved it. Yeah. Do you think Do you think that's like the tough part? Like you for know, me, about being like a creative. I think the major a lot of people are that way in the creative. And it's crazy because there's I feel like there's so many people that are so talented on the creative side of stuff, mm -hmm. and then they miss out on so many opportunities because there's just like they don't want to do the business side or they're not able to or like they just don't care about that. Right. You know what I mean? Or like they don't want to. They want to. They want to benefit off of it. But don't want to like focus on it. it yeah. Feels like I mean, I, I even catch myself being like that. No. Sometimes, yeah. Or, you know. It's, I think there's like two two like extremes of it, where it's like the people that are super creative and like don't have any like business experience or any business drive, and they're not making money off of it. And then there's like a whole other end of it where there's people that are like not even that talented, but they have all the like business savvy you know stuff and like good at networking and all that, and like they're making. They're successful with it. You know right, what I mean? It's right. crazy to see like that. Like You do see that. You yeah. see like a people who have like a lot of talent, but who aren't really like capitalizing on it because I guess they just don't know that like other side of the coin. Yeah. Right? Like, and it's interesting trying to like figure all that out. And, you know, we did one of those classes and it was like the pricing one. Yeah. And it was talking about like, you know, the prices that you give. And uh, I think that's a big thing too. Like with a lot of people who are like creatives and they're, because it's like you're doing like you know art but you also got to put a price on it and like it's like i feel like a lot of people are like that where you know like the the numbers that you want mm -hmm. but you don't ask for it because like you're afraid to and i think that one of those things like i feel like we ran into a lot of people who are like like that you yeah. know like when you start talking to them and they and they tell you what they do you got kind of got like a figure in your mind and then they tell you what they're actually like charging for their service. And it's like, dude, you know? Yeah. Like you're way undervaluing. Like I was, yeah, like it's, my but it's easier was to you say were that to money. somebody. Like, what do you mean? Like it's easy to say that to somebody. Like you should be charging more. Right. But, but then, then you then don't yourself, say that to yourself. I know, yeah. yeah, right? I know, dude. It's hard. The it money is, thing. Man. Like, I don't know. It's like, I know with myself, I kept myself being there. Somebody wants me to give them a like a, a price on something, I, I always struggle with like finding a price that I want mm -hmm. and then like also wanting the job so bad that like I want to make them feel like they're getting a deal, you know? Right. So it's like, I think I got to like try to kind of remove that from it, you know? Right. It's like in reality, when it comes down to it, like you, we want clients that are willing to pay money for for good good services and you know if 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 you're dealing with the people that are trying to be real cheap you know I thought those are the clients that like end up sucking like I've had they do suck don't clients they? yeah they're like you know they they start demanding more for less and less money and it's right. just like it, and it's just like at the end of the day it's hard to do because you want more clients you want more money you right. want more jobs but like you don't want to lose that job but then sometimes you catch yourself like like I helping or going above and beyond for maybe somebody who really is like like not deserving yeah of like your effort and exactly your work, you know um it it's is hard. a struggle man pricing is definitely a tough one yeah but it was so it was like interesting to see that man like to go down to the to there and and like you know see like you know it's not like you're not the only one and then you see people who are like super talented and it's you know, like you say, you think they're like killing it, and then you see that you know they're having those same like struggles too, man. Yeah, it's like, for sure. It's really like a mind state type of thing, dude. It's, I'm sure people think that about me. Like they're like, oh, dude, Andrew? you're super talented. Like man. they see, but like they see like my Instagram or or like because I'm always just posting like jobs that I'm doing on there and shit. But like, and people will come up to me and be like, yo, you've been killing it lately. And I'm right. like, yeah, thanks, child. And then, like, right, right, right. in the back of my head, I'm like, I'm like I'm, I mean, I'm doing okay. Right, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, but, yeah, it's I like... I could be doing better. Yeah. But. 
for sure. I mean, it's interesting. You know what I think one of the biggest things are is all like kind of getting out of that like mind state of like, you know, like I'm like the new kid on the block. Right. Like you could be doing something for years and like you still feel like this like new guy to the scene, like new kid on the block. And like because of that, like you're still like constantly on this like building phase and like you've got to get you like you feel like, oh, man, like I got to get this job or like this job to like help me like build my other stuff. And mm-hmm. like it's, it's interesting because you kind of like neglect your whole other body of work that you've done up until this point. So, like it's true. Uh, that brand new syndrome, dude. I like, feel like I catch myself in that. Uh, yeah, dude, all the like, time, man. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> or I shouldn't be feeling that way, though. Right, know? and like, it's like you know what you're doing. Portfolio, like yeah. yeah, it's like you know how to use a camera, and yeah. light, and you know the game, like it's, you know, you know. The, you know the craft side of it, but then you still, yeah, you know, like it's. I mean, you know, I definitely like. I don't know, like I, I. I find myself doubting myself a little bit. Like, if somebody's like, yeah. oh, you want, like, are you interested in this this job? And then I'll, like, look at it and be like, can I actually do that? Right. <laughs> and it'll it'd, it'd be, like, something that you want, but yeah. then, like, it'll make you nervous, too. Like, yeah. damn, like, can I, like, you know? That's what, like, I was I was talking to somebody about that not that long ago, and he he's, like, a business owner, and he's like, you know, there were uh, he took I forget what it was he took some job that like it was something dumb like he was gonna drop balloons at the end of a party or something and he was like getting paid a good amount of money for it and he was like to, to I, just drop balloons to, yeah to set up this thing that was gonna like drop balloons at the end of the party or something <laughs> yeah yeah and he fucked it up uh-huh. like he was like, <laughs> like, they, like get, he was saying like it was like a big paying thing and he was mm-hmm. all excited about it and like he'd never done anything like it before but he took it on and like mm-hmm. and he fucked it up uh-huh. and like the balloons didn't fall like <laughs> he just ruined it and he was like you know but he was saying like i'm still i'm happy that i did it you know right, and right. like i learned so much from that uh-huh. and like it's it was way better for him to mm-hmm. go fuck that up and learn from that then right. like for him to just like not even try to get that job right and he's right. like yeah right you know? yeah it's like absolutely. you hear a job and you're like ah oh, like i maybe i could do that but like i don't know if it's gonna be perfect and like I, it's like fuck that just try you'll learn shit yeah. all along the way and like you're gonna is i guess it's you know it's better to like maybe fuck up something early on with the client than and like maybe have to reshoot or redo something yeah. then to just be like, to like sitting back and not try it, it. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, because you, you never know, man. You That's might how you're fuck gonna it get up, better. or it you might, might be, be off. Yeah, exactly. You know, so, you don't know. It's so true, man. Can't be letting the fear hold you back at all. You That's know? true. Yeah. That's true. It's, it's it's true. I think that is a big thing, like too, like feeling like you know you're gonna like just fuck it up or like just drop the ball. But I mean, I guess it's just like fuck it. You just yeah, gotta do just it. Go for it. Yeah, like well, I mean, yeah. You know, it's almost like there's no failures, just different perspectives. It's right. all lessons, just, dude. just lessons, yeah. dude. It's just all lessons, man. But the funny thing is, is like hindsight's twenty twenty. So like you could fail at something and then like look back at it and be like, oh, it was just a lesson. Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean. Like yeah. it doesn't yeah. seem that bad in the end, but like sometimes like remembering that going into something, like oh well, it's it's easier to have it like done and then be like, oh yeah, I fucked it up, but I, I learned a lesson. Than it is like going into something being like, well, like, if I fuck this up, might I'll just learn become a lesson. A lesson. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I don't know like, if that's like a good perspective to have on it either, though. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that, uh, I mean, I, I guess might fuck this up and I'm going to learn a lesson. lesson. Yeah, I, maybe. I yeah, yeah, you know, who knows? <laughs> like, it, it's just like that. But yeah, I mean, that was that, that was cool, though, man. And yeah, it's just, I think as a creative, it's just, it's, a, it's an interesting journey trying yeah. to navigate like the balance between your art and your, uh, and, and 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 you know your income and like getting paid to do what you essentially want to do. People doing it, it, it still it seems like a mystery sometimes. Like you know, like it's like you know it's possible, but then sometimes you just kind of wonder what's all of these inner workings that go into it. Yeah, it's interesting. So it's one of those things. But um, but we'll leave it off with this though. So. If you could, you know, you got a little young, wide-eyed, optimistic, creative coming up, whatever type of art form that they're doing, yeah, it doesn't matter. 
uh, if you uh, had some advice for them, um, you know, what would you, uh, would you, what would you say? Yeah. Honestly, like, get a website, go you know, and buy a domain, get a, get a nice website. If you suck at building a website, get somebody else to build it for you, pay for that. Like, get your, you know, your branding, your web presence up for it. Like, I think that's really important. And that's the way everybody's, like, finding everybody right now. It's on the internet. It's like, you have to represent yourself and just be all the way on So, like, I think that's super important. It's like taking time to like make sure your your brand is cohesive and like looks right and your website looks good and um, yeah and then like honestly one of the biggest things for me was like that was just started working out recently is like getting my getting my website uh all up to date on like seo stuff and like now i'm getting like a lot more hits on my website and like just potential you know customers and like I think that's like the most important is getting yourself out in front of people. Get out in front of like the right people, right? Yeah, get it out there in front of the right people. Yeah, I mean, post your stuff. Just like get it out there, show people, and you know what's gonna happen. True, that. Yeah. All right, dude. I was just we're gonna keep going. Like my my phone got so hot. Like it's like you gotta cool it down. How it didn't record? I'm hoping that it. Oh God. Let me see. Um, I'm hoping that, like, it, it shut off, like, right before that last question. Okay. Um, yeah, it's like, it is, it is, it is this whole time we okay. were recording that. Okay, it works. All right. Um, yeah, it's been recording the whole time. Sweet. So, the, the it's fucking hot down know, here, dude. dude. It is. It's sweating a lot. Austin is an awesome city, though, bro. It's I know, dude. Awesome I love city. it. It's an awesome city. It's an awesome city. I really it's love hot. this city. But I'm glad that we got that like last part there because I wasn't sure. It's hot. It's hot oh, down here, dude. Yeah, I know, dude. Sweating. Yeah, and what? It's the, like middle of September right now. Yeah. Woo! Come down here in the middle of July. Oh lord, it's I don't crazy, know dude. If I can imagine, man. That's that Texas. That's that Texas weather. <laughs> but, <laughs> that Texas weather. Yeah, man. But this is good though, dude. Uh, yeah. You know, thanks for coming on to the, to the podcast. Man. I came down to Austin, dude. Yeah, man. It was awesome, dude. I, you know, first timer, man. You know. I'm sure you'll be back. Oh, yeah, without a doubt, yeah, yeah. without a doubt. So, real quick, before we end off, if anybody wants to, you know, figure out more about you or uh, learn a little bit more about what you do, want to check out your work, where can they find you? I mean, my website is just andrewreinerphotography.com, and then Reiner is R-E-I-N-E-R. Okay. And hopefully, you know, my SEO works enough that if you just put in Andrew Reiner into Google, you find me in my one? photography page, you know? Bam. Yeah. So that, and then like Instagram, Andrew Reiner, mm -hmm. I always, that's like the most consistent where you'll see like new, new stuff from me all the time. It's like okay. I'm always, not always, but like I probably could post a little bit more, yeah. but I'm like, but I don't know the social media platforms. That's really yeah. Like, the most like active. I don't do stuff. I mean, I have like all those other things, but like Instagram mm -hmm. is the most active that I'm on. Right. Even more so than like my blog within my website. Like I'm always posting stuff on Instagram. So, and that's just at Andrew Reiner, uh, same, same spelling as before. All right. So, yeah. That's what's up, man. Hey, man. So check him out. Thanks for coming and doing the show once again, man. And uh, until next time, you know, make sure that you just go follow up. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for having me, man. No, thanks for you being here. You know, thank you for being you. Thank you for being you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. All right, dude. <laughs> that was good. Uh, I was like that. I like that.